Hi, I'm Mark Wood. I'm a professional freelance cartoonist and today I'm going to be showing you how to draw cartoons and caricatures. I'm going to show you how to draw Peter from Family Guy. So we're going to start with his eyes. It's the easiest place to start. So just do a circle here, like that. And you do another circle here, just a short distance from it. Now, just overlapping the eye that you've drawn, just drawn, you're going to do his nose. So you do a little shape like that. And then we just go back to his eyes and we just do the sort of the eyelid. So you just draw a slightly sort of straight line there in the top of his glasses. Two dots for the pupils. Now we're going to go onto his mouth. So you, bring, you don't join this line up, you come just slightly away from his nose and you bring it out. And then you want a big smile, big goofy smile, so you come up round, that line can come up just a little bit here, and we're going to come up and a little bit like that. Now his bottom lip sort of sticks out and protrudes a little bit, so you want to do a line coming out from the bottom there and down. And he's got a big bulbous chin, so we should go like that and like that. And that's the inner part of his face. So now we're going to come out and do the cheek. So you start from here, come up to the eye, and then you come out. And it's a big fat face, so you come out and round like that. And that's basically the shape that you want, is an art like that. Now. If you come to sort of roundabout sort of level with the middle of his chin, we're going to do the other side of his face. So you just sort of start here, and we're going to come up at an angle, and you want to come up with a curvy line, sort of round to about there. So you sort of level with his chin. And then we're going to come up. This line, though, we're going to continue. We'll still put his hair in his ear in, in a minute, but we're going to come up with this line, and we're going to go straight over and onto his glasses just to give us the basic shape of his face. Now, his ears are very, very high up on his head, so you want to come up to do his ear above this sort of line here, and you just do a little circle, but not joining up the end. Now for the hair, the hair's nice and simple. You just come out literally from the ear, and you come up a little bit, and then you've got the fringe that comes down. It's near to the glasses, but it doesn't quite sit on the top of his glasses because we've got to still make room for his eyebrows. So you come round and you just kick it off slightly from the side of his face. And then you come back up, pretty much on the circle that you've already drawn, and round and join it to the ear. That way, we've got his hair. Under that, you know, we've just got a tiny little gap between there and his eyes. You can just do his eyebrows. We'll just shade the hair in. The only thing really left to do with the face now is the line that comes off of his glasses. So you come off the side of the glasses and just join it onto the hair with a straight line. And that is the face done. Now we're going to draw part of the body. So we're going to come out from this side of his face and you're just going to do a line that comes out, a curvy line, comes out and comes back in. This is going to represent his stomach, which is rather large. Now, moving up here, we're going to do a line from the middle here, and we're going to come down in the same shape as this line, because this represents where the buttons on his shirt are going to go. So it's the same shape, because you've got to follow in the same line on the way down. And when you get to the top here, come back up to the top, and we're going to draw his collar, which comes round. You want to do like a little round line, and back up to the outside like that and just join this line up with his face. Now coming off of this line again, you get near the top and you do a little little line from here, branches off and joins on to the bit of the face that you've got there. And then you come round, do a little line around line like that, and you can come up towards the back of his face and you just literally come up and join it up like that. Now for his back, you only see part of his back here on the sides. You just come down and you just do a slightly wavy line for the back of his shirt. It doesn't really matter where it goes in as long as it's just a roughly sort of a line that comes down level with the one you've got over here. Just do a few buttons here on his shirt. And then we come to his arm. 
connected. So if we come down from a line just sort of the middle of this sort of collar, come down, straight line, and this one is sort of curved upwards, and back round there. This is the arm of his shirt. Now shirt sleeves are always rolled up, so we shall put a little curved line there, and another one there, and another one here, and another one there. And then you just join the bottom two up, and that looks like a rolled up sleeve. Now for his arm, you just want a curvy line coming down, and one coming down the back, here, and we're not going to draw his full body today, so we're just going to come down on that and we just do a little bump to represent where his hand would be for if you continued the body on. And we should just then join this line up from his hand to his stomach, and that one up there to his back, which is literally right above where his belt would go. Just thicken up the lines, and there we have Peter from Family Guy.